Cyberknife here. Decided to do a little video on my Fabuki. Currently my highest tier destroyer. I was actually spending quite a bit of time playing cruisers and I kind of hit New Orleans at tier 8 on the American line. I got a little uh, kind of sick and tired of playing American cruisers, especially since <laughs> their anti-aircraft role is so lame anymore. You almost never see a game with a aircraft carrier. Well, I would say almost never, but I'm saying about, you know, less than 50%, right, for sure. Maybe 1 in 5. Sometimes nice 1 in 10, maybe not at all. So that kind of defeats a lot of the fun of playing American Cruiser. Well, I decide that uh, in the current configuration, you'll notice the way my Fubuki is loaded out, I have the B hull, and that's not because I couldn't get the C, it's because I didn't want it. It's fairly common for people to not go onto the B hull because you lose that second turret up high in the rear there. Now that doesn't mean that you can go head to head with American destroyers all the time, things like that, but it does mean that you're f capable of defending yourself against a Hasaharo, Masuki, and things equal or class you. I've taken out uh, Clevelands that were in the last quarter of their health, things like that. Generally in a Fubuki though, if you go to guns, except in situations like this, you usually are kind of screwed. So I'm noticing here that I'm gonna not really getting a whole lot of support, but luckily this uh, York decides that he's gonna come and hang out and come up here. I don't really realize it yet, but I will. Yeah, it's gonna be very helpful to me, this guy for sure. So we're a tier eight in a tier eight game. That's all right. Looks like the enemy are already grabbing one cap for B, and we're getting A. So I'm going to kind of switch to my normal view. My gun view I had at the time. And I'm wondering if, if another destroyer is going to try for C. Now if they do, I feel pretty confident that I can handle my own. Now if I bump into two of them, eh that great. We know one of them's in here at least. So that, that Yorick is letting me know he's gonna give me a hand. That's great. I'm just wondering where this guy's gonna pop up. And it is the Hot Saharo. Tier 7. So I... Now watch how I throw the torps here. Say, not just at where the indicator is. I'm kind of spreading them out over the whole thing. Now I begin firing. Get a two shots in to reduce that cab. That's nice. As far as I can be. Decent guns. He's smoking, so we're kind of losing sight of him. So I'm going to try to keep him spotted so myself or this uh, York can get him. But my torps are heading and I'm hoping I might catch one. He torped back, as we can see. I'm hoping to get lucky. He's not going to see these torps in the smoke. It's a pretty wide spread. At this point, I just want to keep him spotted. Yeah, there we got one big hit on him, so you know he doesn't have a lot of health left. damage these torpedoes do on the Fabukis. I'm wondering how much health they'll have left as I'm popping through the smoke. <laughs> Any second. They always see me like one second before and never fails. Behind. Hi. Caught him there. And capped. And now I'm gonna, with the help of this York, I think we're gonna push over into B together. 
Let's see what mischief we can get into over there. There's not a lot you can do always in a Fabuki in this type of game. You're not always that well suited to be the guy who goes out and caps and fights head to head. You usually want to be out on the flank of the main advance. You know, I try to hang around where the battleships are usually and kind of get out on a flank and launch torpedoes into the mass. And if you don't hit the first line with these 15 kilometer torpedo long lances, you can a lot of times get hits in the second line of enemy ships. So we're gonna bring it back around, see if we can at least interrupt that B cap for a while. A lot of people don't do that enough, I think. Sometimes you can't maybe get the cap, but if you just put yourself physically in the cap, you know, you're stopping them from collecting and helping widen the, your lead. Or close the lead, if the, as the case may be. I do like the torpedoes in this thing. It is a cool little... It's actually not very little. It's kind of a big, slow tugboat is what it is. You can get caught in this thing easy like you, you can get run down by a Cleveland if you do any kind of just turning left and right to avoid fire it slows you down enough that a, most any cruiser or destroyer will be able to catch you so I got 15 kilometer torps but that's pretty far to be shooting 15 I usually like to get more at least like eight or so nine at the time, I did have an indicator on him, so I'm firing pretty much as to what the lead was saying there. As long as he's in that cap, I can't really get it, but I can get in there and interrupt it. So I think that's what I'm going to do now. You'll see it turn into a diamond when it's in being contested. The B, there it goes. That means they're no longer making money on it. You're only making money on it or cap points on it when it's the square. A lot of people don't know that. It's kind of an indicator. You can just look up, and as long as you see a green square, that means you're making money. If it's once it's in play, it'll tilt into a diamond. So we got one into them. In a Colorado, you know, that's not a whole lot. That was 10k or so. Just under 8, I guess 8. So let's see if I can throw a few more out there. As I recall, I think I ended up using my guns quite a little bit on this one because uh, when we get down to it, this battleship really wasn't able to take shots at me. little pocket of resistance right here. Get back in here and stop their cap again. There we go. It's a nice looking ship. get some laying into them pretty good for as far as a just Japanese destroyer with guns goes. You know what I mean? You don't really see a whole lot of this. <laughs> you get a chance to just bang away on a battleship with a destroyer. I do in the American classes. There 
that he's gone. So what else we got going on here? The Pensy. I think that's about it. What else we got about Ted? So that's a pretty good use of a of a destroyer to kind of get in there and go head to head with another DD, and then still play that that role of uh, using the torps and helping to clear these caps like that. I kind of like to be a little more versatile when I can, and this is not a really that versatile of a ship, but still, you can kind of, if you're careful, is a good example of how you can kind of get it to do your bidding. A lot of people really complain about the Fabuki being a not a very good ship, but I don't know, I, I like it. And then again, I like the Mitsuki at tier 6 too. Just you gotta kind of make the ship work for you, find out what its strengths are, kind of, I think, uh, we finally realized where this DD is simply from a smoke, I hadn't seen him, so I'm gonna go flush him out and then he's screwed, I believe this is the Mitsuki, <laughs> this is your worst nightmare when you're hiding and you've got a cruiser on you and then some DD just comes in and sticks his nose in your smoke and runs you out of there, he's got a flag on, you can tell he's at least made it to tier 15 or whatever level 15 I guess it is to get the one star there it ends alright so here are the end caps for that Fabuki game 31 hits almost most of those were on that uh, battleship A couple of torpedo hits those were pretty decent you saw I do the, the wide wide spread even kind of disregard, you know, what they're going to, what the torpedo indicator is going to tell you to do, and got the one kill, a couple of fires, a couple of floodings, I wanted to see, actually I had, was flagged up for that, so I wanted to see if that, you know, made any kind of difference, and it did a little bit, of appears, and got one cap, so that ends up, for this, uh, not too bad of a game, Terp, it's, you know, definitely uh, played well, four kills, played like a champ. But, uh, you know, not too bad a game for a, a, we played pretty aggressively. That's about as aggressively as you can play. And what really allows that is that third turret not going with the sea hull. So, anyway, nice little game there. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Cyber Knife out.